<laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I've been censored. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul here with my beautiful wife, Gail. We're uh, having trouble getting this video started here. And it's like the fourth take. We keep laughing and stuff. It's because you're censoring me. I'm censoring Gail because she's being a distraction. So let's talk about real stuff. Well, the world's ending. No, I'm kidding. Let's be real. I want to talk about this. Uh, I want to talk about this prophecy. I want to talk about a couple of things. This prophecy that was made. You can speak now. You're off. You're off. Which All right. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. We're, I want to talk about this video where I was talking about war portals. Time shifts, amazing prophetic revelations, and then how gigantic hell was coming. This video got quite a lot of views for a 35-minute video. So this video was made on February 24, 2019. Speaking of gigantic hell, this is another prophecy uh, fulfilled. Just to give God some glory today, amen. We got to give God some glory today. This is a uh, brother, Mr. BB333. Uh, picture of gigantic hell. Look at this. So this is coming out of uh, Burke Burnett, Texas sky. The size of cantaloupes. Crazy. I'm not kidding you. Cantaloupes. Look at this. Not sure how many pictures he has up here, but look, this one's measured. It looks like it's nine inches, eight to nine inches. Well, that's from the, the previous one. Look at this one. Okay, so this is fulfilling this prophecy. Look, okay, so the second thing I wanted to talk about was um, the places of worship. The president has ordered that they're essential and that they open tomorrow. And I think this is great news, but there's been, someone made a really good point on an email they sent me, and I want to thank them. It was Linda Moon, I believe, Sister Linda Moon, now that I remember. She was saying that the churches have been targets of arson and stuff like that. There's been several reports of churches being burned down when tried to open. and this should be a real caution to those people who plan on attending church tomorrow or in a physical building. Uh, just to keep your eyes open and ears open, you know. And it's sad that I even have to say this, but, you know, there's people that want to burn the church down or shoot the church up. And the Bible said to be uh, wise. So that's the second thing I wanted to warn of was. The churches, if it, if it, if some of them do open tomorrow, just a sign of the times. And then the third thing I want to talk about is this. Uh, I've been studying throughout the Old Testament. Now this is going to be really interesting. We're going to do a live stream tomorrow, so it's going to be Sunday, 5:24 at 11 a.m. and that's Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. California time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to go live, and we're going to prove that the rapture is not post-tribulation once and for all. So many people are in belief of this post-tribulation rapture, or some even say there's no rapture at all. I mean, we're going to have lots of scriptures on from the book of Revelation, from the old-time prophets like Zechariah and stuff. It's going to be an amazing journey through the Bible. It's going to prove beyond all doubt that the, the day of the Lord and the rapture are two different events and that the rapture happens before tribulation. So if you want to come join us tomorrow for that, we're going to have worship music, lots of people. Here I put it on your screen right here, uh, 524, 20, 11 a.m. Do you have anything, my friend? Just have a blessed, blessed day. Yeah, we miss you and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Comment in the comment box what you think about um, what you think about 
President Trump ordering the churches open, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, and about all these prophecies to be fulfilled. You know, I've made a lot of prophecies over the years, and they're running out. The, the prophecies that I've made are running out. But that's a whole new topic, amen? God bless you all, keep you all, cause His face to shine on you, and give you peace.